guys we're back again with another um, summer bodybuilding update um, we're gonna go through the uh, July and we're almost through August um, so to start with I got my little cheat sheet here so I don't skip on anything here 
Uh, most of the uh, stuff here is still going to be like a, a repeat of the last update because I'm just going to just go in progression here as far as how my, I'm doing with the uh, my workouts. So, um, so I'm going to keep the same uh, list of things to go over. So to begin with here, um, I've had no injury so far uh, this summer, knock on wood. And um, shoulders are um, okay. And um, the only thing that uh, I might have had like a setback here is, um, um, as you know, I, uh, I have two dogs now. I, I got Buddy's father here, the uh, uh, Siberian Husky, that we uh, got from uh, my daughter. Um, the uh, thing I do here is I take the dog out uh, well, at least uh, four times a day. And, um, and one of the times I take them out is like, uh, you know, the last time is at night. And uh, when I go uh, picking up their poop, um, I got a bit on the palm of the hand here uh, with a mosquito. So I had a mosquito bite right here in the middle of the palm, and I wasn't able to do any kind of pushing or uh, grabbing uh, anything that used uh, any pressure on the palm of the hand. Uh, because they have mosquito bites, so it took about a week uh, for the mosquito bite to kind of go away and where I could take the uh, pressure of the weight of the bar or whatever I had in my hand. So that was really a weird uh, thing happened. I guess because I was down close to the ground, I guess the uh, mosquitoes, uh, you know, were hovering low there. So, um, so that's one thing that, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, messed up uh, my workouts uh, uh, during, uh, well this happened in the beginning of August. And then another thing is we had a really hot, uh, humid summer. Uh, we don't have too much humidity here usually in the summertime, just a, you know, three, four days, but we've been in the 90s a lot and the humidity's been high and that humidity really um, drains the energy out of me. Um, I take the dogs out and I gotta take the both of them out separately because the, the little guy, all he wants to do is go out there and play. And uh, the husky, he wants to just uh, do his business and get it over with. So um, they like to, uh, he likes to jump on them and, uh, and uh, the nook doesn't like uh, being bothered. So I gotta take them out by themselves, which takes a long time. It's about a half an hour by the time I walk the boat on them. So I'm in that sun and that uh, heat, you know, four times a day like that. So uh, that's about all as far as, uh, you know, uh, any kind of setbacks, which is not really a setback. I uh, uh, just uh, recoup myself here in the air conditioning. And then uh, about an hour I'm okay I'm, I can get back to uh, working out again. All right, so we got that. Now let's go through my exercises. Now, as you know from my first uh, update that I did, I haven't been doing it every month. I've been, uh, like I said, I've been really busy. And um, I think um, in July I got about 85% of my uh, workouts done for the month. This month so far, uh, I, it's about the same. Um, I just don't have the time to uh, get down there and work out like I want to, but 85% I think is pretty good. Um, I'm getting my uh, ex the uh, exercises done, and, and, uh, and even though they're not, in, I like to exercise each body part three times a week. Sometimes I, I'm doing it twice a week, uh, but that's better than not doing them at all. So okay, so let's start uh, with the main lifts. The compound lifts, you know, the, my uh, competition lifts, the squat, the bench, and the uh, deadlift. First, the squat. All right, so, like I said, I'm bodybuilding uh, for these six months, so I'm not really going for strength. But um, I'm right back to where I was uh, at the meet as far as my squat. So, to recoup uh, my... Uh, my uh, meat uh, uh, weight um, at the meat, and for you guys that needs kilos, 
Um, 87.5 kilos was my squat at the meet and um, 192 pounds. And I'm right back there. I'm doing, uh, well, no, I'm above that. I'm doing 205 now in a squat. Like I said, I'm not working for strength because after my bodybuilding is over with the six months, then I'm going to go into my uh, meat prep and then I'll start building up my strength. So I'm above. I'm above my meat uh, highest weight, but I'm below my first meat weight. But uh, I'm still, you know, not really upset because, like I said, I'm bodybuilding. Um, the bench, you know, my bench is still not that great. I'm still having a problem, and um, it's not because of my shoulders. It's just that uh, it's been so long that I that I was able to do the bench correctly. Um, or I haven't been able to do the bench correctly, that uh, all the muscles that incorporated into the benching is, is I have to just rejuvenate them again, get them built up again. And I've been trying in different uh, different uh, position, hand positions, you know, going wide, going wide, and they just doesn't seem like they're it's working. Um, I'm st I'm going. My bench is above what I did at the meet. But uh, it's below what I did at my first meet and way below where my potential is. So what I'm, I'm doing now, I'm experimenting, which is why I wanted to do this six months. I didn't want to have to really concentrate on getting my strength. I just want to get my form and just get back into the groove um, before I start meat prep. So um, like I said, I've been doing my grip, different grip uh, spacing, and uh, it really hasn't been helping that much. Uh, but now I, I've gone into uh, close grip bench, I have, I'm, and I'm doing just a little bit le uh, more in than my shoulder width, and it seems like it's working. What I'm trying to do is build it up to tricep strength. And also, um, I haven't hardly any problems with the wrist. Um, I'm trying not to use wrist uh, straps yet. I'm gonna wait till I get into, you know, at least my body weight and over, then I'll start using the strip, you know, the wrist straps again, so I can build up, you know, some strength, more strength in the wrist. But what I'm having a problem here is in the elbow joint, is that when I unrack the weight, I can feel, you know, the jolt. You know, when I bring the weight down, the jolt of the weight on the arm, and it's a little bit of discomfort and then when I come down I can feel that it's the strength's not there and I've been back and forth lightweight up to a little heavier weight and lightweight and heavier once I get the heavier weight when I just start bumping up to more of a uh, you know getting more heavy in the weight uh, then it starts bothering me again now whether I should just jump in and just start putting in the weight so that way maybe that will help uh, straighten the uh, you know, the ligaments and the tendons in the uh, elbow joint. Uh, maybe that will help. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to wait till I get to meat prep to start doing that. Right now, I'll just keep doing, you know, volume. and uh, doing more reps, more sets, just to get the uh, strength in there and some muscle build up around the joint. So, um, so I've been doing close grip, and the close grip has been good because now I've been doing... I'm able to do more of my triceps, so I'm building up my tricep strength, and I'm gonna just keep doing that um, for the next month because August is the sixth month and the final month of the bodybuilding uh, summer bodybuilding. So uh, that's about it on the um, on the bench. Um, I'm progressing, but very slowly. And uh, what I do at the meet um, next year. Um, all depends how uh, much how strong I get in the bench and how my elbow uh, joint uh, is going to be able to uh, handle more weight. All right, so let's get down to the deadlift. Now the deadlift. Um, like I said, I'm repeating myself, but you know, um, I'm not going for strength right now. I just want to build up muscles, build up the muscles, the muscles around the muscles that it. You know are incorporated in the lifts and what you want to do is uh, because the thing about the compound lifts sure they work a lot of muscles but they're not working all the little muscles that are around and if you 
if you tend not to work these muscles, the little muscles, um, I call them little muscles, um, that are around, you know, the major muscles that are actually doing the lift, uh, they start atrophying. And you have to do exercises to keep those muscles you know, developed. And um, so like I said, I'm not going for strength uh, right now, even with the deadlift. I'm just going to stick with my trying to work on my form um, and um, try to do it so, you know, get it down where um, I'm doing it correctly so there's not uh, involving my back in, in, in the lift uh, 100%. And um, also, what I'm trying to do now too is I'm forcing myself to use the belt. Um, I use the belt on the um, on the squat, and, and by using the belt on the squat, and I started doing that just before my first meet, because um, I never used the belt at all on any of the lifts. So uh, with the belt, as far as doing the squat, I can take in my air into my abdominal area and then I can push out my abdominal wall into the belt and I can feel the tightness in my back and it really helps. Now you can train yourself to do that, which I did, but when I started using the belt, it felt like it was a lot, a lot easier to do that instead of having to concentrate on my, on my uh, abdominals. Uh, to hold it tight. Now I can hold the abdominals tight and let the belt hold hold me in and be able to really put the pressure in there to keep my back, um, you know, um, stationary and straight. And this also helps uh, with the uh, deadlift because I, the deadlift I really didn't need a belt. I didn't feel any difference. In fact, actually, I don't feel any difference as far as doing the lift wise. It doesn't help me do the lift better. It doesn't help me to um, lift heavier the belt, but it, what what it does do is keep my back straight and keep my back, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, stiff. It helps keep my back stiff. So uh, what I'm doing now is, um, use, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to force myself to use the belt, which is working okay. It's not digging into my ribs anymore it's like, really bad like it was. Like I told you, I, I didn't want to concentrate and have that pain and still concentrate on doing the lift. But because I'm not training for my meat right now, I can take that pain and, and, and try to work myself away from it. And that's what I'm doing now. Now I have no more pain with that edge of the belt digging into my ribs when I come down. I'm trying to keep my butt back straighter and I squat down straighter instead of bending over and when I do that and then I take my you know the air into my abdominal uh, area that helps me um, keep the my air in there and also keeps the belt from digging into the uh, into the uh, ribs so I keep everything straight so it's really helping my form. And um, so anyway even though I'm not working on, on strength uh, per se in the lead lift, I'm, uh, I, I'm five pounds over what I did at the meet uh, on the deadlift. So that's pretty good. So uh, I have another month left, September, in the summer bodybuilding uh, routine. And then I go into my uh, meat prep and then I'll start building up my strength to get uh, my... Uh, deadlift uh, stronger than it was at the meet. Now, um, as you know, when I was doing my deadlifts in the uh, basement, um, I did 165 pounds. Um, I tried to do that at the meet, and um, because the, I wasn't positioned right on the bar, under, under the bar, or over the bar, I, I screwed up and I, I didn't get the lift. Um, I, I, I could have done it if I wouldn't have position myself wrong. So um, at the meet I got um, uh, 253 pounds, uh, 115 uh, kilos. At my first meet I did 117 kilos so I went below um, my, uh, my first meet, uh, my second meet. But in the basement now in bodybuilding uh, I did uh, 255 pounds um, in the uh, deadlift. Uh, so I went a couple pounds over my meat 
but I still haven't done my uh, my uh, weight that I did at my first meet. So um, that's about it for the compound exercises. Uh, just you know, let you guys uh, see my progression here. And um, also, um, I still don't have time to make videos of my routine. It's just I just don't have the time to sit there and reposition my camera for every uh, exercise. It's just too hard. Um, I have no time. The dogs and everything else, which I explained, and you're probably tired of me explaining that already. So it's not an excuse. I just don't have time. Um, now let's go back to, um, you know, let's move forward, I mean, let's go move forward now to the body, actual bodybuilding routine. So uh, what I've been doing now, uh, I do my squats and my bench one day, and I do my, um, and I do my deadlift on, on the second day. Okay, and then, um, so what I do, I work out six days a week, I'm off Sunday. So uh, three days a week, I worked uh, uh, my uh, squat and my uh, and my bench, and then uh, uh, three days a week, I work my uh, deadlift. So when I'm doing squats and bench on my squat day, then I do two bodybuilding exercises. So one of them is a, a split squat, and I don't know if they call that Bulgarian split squat. I'm not sure. But what you do is. Uh, you have a bench behind you, you put one foot, uh, you put your foot on the bench, and then you go forward, you hold a dumbbell on, on, on your side that you're going to uh, squat, and then you just squat down, and you squat up with one leg. And that's uh, what I do for my, uh, you know, after I do my squats. And then I do uh, leg extensions, and that's all I do for legs. Um, I'm sorry. Leg curls, not leg extensions. I do leg curls. And then for the bench, um, I'll do uh, variations. Um, but right now I'm doing close grip, and that's all I'm doing. And then I do dumbbell. I do dumbbell uh, flat bench. So with the dumbbells. And, um, and then I do push-ups. Uh, I'll get that to that in a little bit. So... Um, then after the bench, uh, the deadlift, and uh, that's my back day, actually my back day, so what I'll do is after I do my deadlift, this is my first strength uh, move, and then I'll do uh, bent over rolls. I've been doing pretty good with the, with the uh, bent over roll. Um, and then I'll do a lat pull down on the lat pull down machine with the, with the bar, straight bar. And then I'll do the V bar, um, a V handle, and I'll come down and, and I'll do... I'll do the uh, lat pull down with that. And then, um, if I don't have time during the day because I have a schedule with the dog, so if I can't make it, um, I'll wait till the evening and I'll, I'll uh, on my um, squat and bench day, I'll do my, my uh, arm, my shoulders. So for my shoulders, I do um, lateral uh, raises with the dumbbells. And then I'll do front raises, um, and then I'll do bent over uh, dumbbell raises. Um, and then on my uh, bench day, I'll do uh, my arms. No, I'm sorry, bench day is the same as the squat day. And then on my uh, deadlift day, I'll do arms. So I'll do um, I'll do biceps, a bicep uh, barbell curl, and then I'll do. Um, I do a, uh, what they call, I think they call it a spider curl where you sit on the bench and you lay back. And I'll do um, dumbbell curls with that. And then I'll do hammer, hammer curls with dumbbells. Then after I do my biceps, I do my bicep, di triceps. So I, I work my arms together on the same day. And my triceps, I do tricep push down. And my triceps are actually getting worked out. Uh, with my uh, bench, with the close grip bench. So what I think I'm going to be doing uh, probably next month, September, which is the last month, I think I'm going to uh, skip doing my triceps on my bicep day. I'm going to go do my triceps on, um, on my bench day for the last month. And um, I'll do my uh, cable pushdowns um, with my uh, close grip bench. And I'll work my triceps 
that way. So um, then I'll do uh, body weight exercises, and that uh, takes care of the muscles that uh, that will atrophy if you don't if you don't uh, exercise them. Uh, so what I do is I'll do a um, hundred push-ups a day. I'll try to do a hundred push-ups a day, and that's I, I separate them. I do fifty push-ups. Uh, on my uh, morning workout and then I'll do 50 push-ups uh, in my evening workout. Now I found out about my push-ups. Uh, I think I, uh, I said something about that in my one of my videos. I used my um, push-ups uh, for um, a warm-up before my bench. Well, I found out there, there's no carryover. To, by me warming up doing the bench, the, the push-ups for the bench, uh, doesn't really help uh, with the bench. It doesn't warm me up. So, um, I stopped it. I don't do, uh, warm up anymore, uh, with the push-ups before I do my bench. I just go ahead and do, do my, uh, bench. Then after my bench and after everything else, and then I'll do my, my, my push-ups at the end. And it's really funny. There's no carryover from doing push-up warm up for a warm-up but there's a carrier over uh, from doing after doing my bench and going and doing the uh, push-ups because when I first do my push-ups when I'm cold like first thing um, you got to break up the fascia I explained that in videos back there you guys if you don't understand what I'm saying just go back I have captions on the beginning of my videos um, that you can see and I'll explain um, about the, the fascia in one of my videos so uh, anyway I gotta break up the fascia so the first set is usually kind of hard you know until you work you know get the blood circulating and then the second set is like nothing it's real easy so now after I do my bench first and do my my uh, push-ups last I go in my push-ups it's like I already warmed up I mean it's like it's I can't believe it the bench is a is a warm-up for my push-ups so uh, you know I just want to say that if you feel like if you're warming up to do push-ups and it's like really hard and it's it's like you know why am I doing this is that you know I don't I don't I'm not really feeling that great and when I go to my bench and I'm like kind of a little tired because I already did the push-ups forget the push-ups and just go to your bench and do your push-ups after your bench also um, I want to talk about, um, I'll put this in right now before I forget, I forgot to write it in here. I, I don't do any more uh, long uh, warm-ups. No mobility exercises, no more roller exercises, no uh, foam roller exercises. I just go there and do a few band exercises as far as my shoulders. And I'll do some ro rotator cuff exercises, you know, which uh, you've already seen in videos. But I, I might take... A minute. I'll do 20 of these, 20 of those, 10 of these, 15 of those, and that's it. I'm done. As far as uh, warming up my legs, I warm up my legs with the actual, the actual exercise. Everything now because, excuse me. <coughs> like I just explained before, the, the push-ups are not even uh, a carry, not even warming me up to carry me over to my bench. I just eliminated that. That was a warm up too, so that's gone. I don't warm up for my bench. The warm up I bench is a is a empty bar, and then I just work my weight up until my work my workload weight. So yeah, so I don't do any more warm ups. All my warm ups is the actual exercise. I don't waste any of my energy. My energy is strictly saved for my my doing my routine and my exercises. And um, I do no. Uh, foam rollers at night, I don't do them before I go to bed, I don't do any of that anymore. Uh, it just seems like uh, it, I, I'm, I'm drained. Uh, it seems like that uh, I do it, if, even if I did it three times a day, the next day I'm still, everything is still stiff. The fascia is still sticky in there underneath the skin, you know, that you gotta loosen up and get that all loosened up and everything. It, why even waste your time? That's how I feel anyway. There's a lot of people out there taking you know, sometimes taking 45 minutes of their of their workout day just warming up, um, and I don't feel bad about it uh, as far as how I feel. I don't feel sore. 
I know after I work out, my muscles are still getting warmed up. I don't go, you know, just go in and do a 200 pound uh, squat. I go in there and I start with the empty bar and I work my way up to it and my muscles are completely warmed up by the time I'm ready to do my workload. So um, I just wanted to let you know that. Um, now body, body, body uh, weight exercises, like I said, to keep all those other, you know, your your ligaments and your tendons, uh, you know, you know, limber and everything. I do, um, I do um, uh, pull-ups. I do chin-ups. Like I said, I do push-ups. And uh, you know, I, I do different kind of push-ups. I do close grip, wide grip, diamond grip. Uh, I'll take my legs narrow. I stretch out my feet behind me. Uh, same thing with the. Uh, uh, pull-ups, I'll do a wider grip, I'll do a closer grip. My chin-ups, I'll just do a regular grip for my chin-ups. And um, that's what I do because um, you can do pull-ups, you'll feel it in the back, you'll feel it in your lats. But then when you do a push-up, you feel it in your front lats and, and your muscles up across your chest here when you, you pull up. So even though you're doing a pull-up, you feel it, but you're feeling it more in your back if you are got your mind's muscle connection there to your back a lot of people they can't get that and then what they're doing is they're working their shoulders they're working their arms to pull them up they're not actually using their back and that's why your back you know, sometimes the pull, pull up is so hard for people to do because they can't get to the connection there to pull yourself with the back and pull your elbows back it took me a long time to get back into doing that correctly and I'm still not actually really strong uh, my my pull-ups uh, are still I can't even do ten yet, and I've been doing that for four years now, and I still can't I can't get the strength. But at least I'm doing them, and I'm doing them strict. I'm, I'm doing no swinging, I'm doing no jumping. Um, so if I'm doing four strict, I'm doing four. If I can only do two strict, I'm doing two strict. But I don't do any cheating uh, if I can, uh, you know, not do it. Now, as far as body composition, I'm 74 years old, okay? There's never going to be a bodybuilding-looking body here. But as far as composition, I, I'm seeing a little bit of difference. And right here, or maybe right here, because I made a mistake last time, it's either here or here. I'll have, I have a picture here of a body, what body composition is. I'll show you a, a person that you know, from when they're heavier and as they go by. So when you start losing weight and start building muscle, the body, your body composition changes. And I have a, I have a very little uh, uh, difference in look as far as body composition, but I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really uh, looking like a bodybuilder. Um, I think I'm never going to look like a, a bodybuilder anymore. Um, I have a six-pack ab, but I still have that little bit of fatty layer over it. Plus, I got 74-year-old skin, so it's not really, you know, I'm not going to be taking off my shirt and showing you my my uh, so-called bodybuilding uh, physique here. But I am seeing a little bit of different uh, how I look now that I've been doing bodybuilding um, strictly away from actually doing you know training for uh, um, training for uh, power lifting doing the um, competition lifts I could feel that I was uh, losing um, muscle um, and strength in in the other muscles that uh, I haven't been using because I haven't been doing uh, uh, any kind of uh, bicep or tricep exercises or even shoulder exercises so um so that's what happens when you when you do the um just the um compound exercises now when you're younger those muscles are getting worked but when you're older if you don't do every day uh working of those muscles there you're going to start atrophying and then you're going to start losing strength so that's why i moved into the um uh, uh, bodybuilding mode for the summer so that's about it guys um, for the update um, like I said this is almost the end of August um, I'll be making one more update next month and then we'll run into the um, 
prep, the meat prep, um, in October. And I'll be making a video and explaining exactly uh, what I'm going to be doing for those six months. And um, as far as what I want to do for the meat. So, like I always say at the end of my videos, um, stay healthy. And I haven't been making any videos down in the uh, basement, but I'm still going to say I will see you back in the basement.